Today, we're going to build the best live well cooler we possibly can, taking an old cooler and uh, turning it into a live well for the functions that I need it for. And uh, I put a lot of thought into it. I've done a lot of research to figure out the best options for what I need and for what a lot of people need. So I'm gonna share some of that with you today. But uh, that's what we're doing. Let's build a live well. Now I recently uh, redid my entire boat, uh, top to bottom, new deck, new uh, new uh, aluminum, new tower, new console, all, all of that. Uh, redid it all and I put a lot of thought into the functionality of all of that and you know we went back and forth uh, for months uh, until my boat was exactly how I wanted it. And I didn't want my live well to be any different. I wanted it to be nice I, uh, and clean, I wanted it to be organized. Uh, I built a few cooler live wells in the past and you know one of the things that I really don't like about those is uh, inside the cooler you know you lose space if you uh, if you're putting you know bilge pumps inside the cooler and you know you got plumbing and pipes and tubing and all of that stuff and so I didn't want to do that either I want to keep all of it outside the cooler I want it to be nice and clean and organized but I also still want to use it uh, for an ice chest when I want to so um, let's first talk about the cooler. Now, this cooler is the Engel 80. The uh, Engel 80, uh, it, it fits absolutely perfect. In fact, I don't think there's a millimeter of space uh, in there. It is about as tight as you can get. In fact, pulling it out is, you know, it's, it's in there. So that's perfect. But one of the big things that I was looking for is I needed a, a cooler that would fit that rack, but I also needed a cooler that was at least 28 inches in width on the inside, the interior. And the reason is because I do redfish tournaments. And so our, uh, you know, your, your upper slot redfish are, you know, 27 and three quarters, uh, to, to right at 28 inches. So I needed something that could hold those and keep them comfortable. Uh, and this is really the only cooler that I found that has a 32 inch bottom with a 28 and a half inch uh, interior. So um, I looked around, I looked at every cooler manufacturer and you know, this is the only one. And so it actually fit perfect. The quality is absolutely incredible. If you look at this cooler, it doesn't have those like uh, ridiculous like latches that you have to pull down. These are, I mean, yeah, and you can replace those with stainless steel ones. I kind of like the black ones, so I'll probably keep those. Uh, really, really nice cooler though. Um, I, I absolutely love it. So that's what we're gonna be using. Uh, now, let's talk about some of the live well um, equipment, the pumps, the plumbing, all of that. So I looked all over uh, for good um, plumbing and kits for uh, making your own live well. And again, there was a few things that I wanted. I don't want um, any plumbing to be inside the cooler because I still want to use all of that open space um, for an ice chest if I, I, I need to. So I want to keep all of my, my plumbing and all of that behind the cooler. Uh, that just makes more sense. It, you know, uh, out of the way and nice and clean and organized, but we can still use the inside of the cooler. Uh, so I did a lot of research and uh, let me show you what I found. Uh, I went over to TB Nation. TB Nation, Tiny Boat Nation uh, is, is what it is, tbnation.com. Um, and they have live well kits. And um, I, there's a lot of companies that make live well kits, but in my opinion, this is probably the best. Here's that whole kit. We're gonna open it up and show it to you. Uh, here is the, the pump, this is a Tsunami. It's a uh, 800 um, GPH gallons per hour um, pump. Here is one of those quick disconnects. Super cool. You pull it back and it pops off. You push it in and it locks, uh, which is really nice because I can install this. Um, and anytime I wanna take this cooler out and use it for a regular cooler, well, I can just disconnect all the plumbing and then I just have a connector sticking out. So that's really, really nice. Um, it also, 
comes with this hose. Um, it is a extremely um, tight kind of fitting. It's it's really really nice, um, really great hose. I believe this is also from Flowrite. Um, it is. It has Flowrite on there. Uh, so I got that, and then the um, actual sprayer here. I love this thing. Um, it has an airport. So when this is spraying, so this will be pulling water from the bottom. It'll be going through this hose to here and it pulls air through this and sprays and so it oxygenates the water as well which is what you need um, to keep you know your your fish alive and and, and well all right so i uh i brought the cooler inside uh do the rest of this in the ac because let's just uh, admit it it is too damn hot to be working outside so uh i have everything marked uh we are going to put the um those pump down here and this will go somewhere over here. Um, so that should fit just fine. Uh, we've got a few little instructions here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. Um, uh, we're going to do this one first so that we make sure that the other side is going to fit right. Uh, I think this is a 1 and 1 16th. Uh, so we're going to cut that out, get that mounted in there, and I'm going to show you the rest. And now i uh, got the hose connected and I was a little bit actually off on my original measurement so it's going to go up a little bit and then uh, in a little which is not a really, really that big of a deal. I mean we're talking two inches at that point. So uh, it doesn't bother me that much um, but we're going to go ahead and cut that hole that way we know exactly where everything goes. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller. This is a 7 8. I actually used a 1 inch instead of a 1 and 1 16th uh, and that fit just fine. So uh, this one is a little bit smaller though. So we're going to use a 7 8 uh, drill bit, cut through that and then um, you know we'll, we'll see exactly how it looks. All right so I got the other hole drilled and uh, that's where the aerator goes right through there. Yeah. Oh, let's uh, do this the right way though, like that. Nice, clean, that is it. Um, connect these wires up, uh, but this is the only thing that's going to be on the outside. This isn't completely tight yet. Uh, so next we're going to install it. Now the inside, um, inside of the cooler, those extend a lot further than I want. So we're going to cut those down. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like uh, now. Got the uh, plumbing tubes uh, run through from the outside. Uh, however, they are just too long. So I've marked them down um, and we're going to cut those down. So basically, uh, this is going to sit just like that. It's going to be flush against the wall. So that's the only thing sticking out there. And then down on this side, the only thing that you'll see is that. Uh, so this will screw all the way up tight and that is exactly what we want. Uh, now, this does come with these little uh, foam rings to get an airtight seal uh, on all of this. Uh, if you plan on using that, that way you can take it off if you want. Uh, I don't think this cooler will ever come off of my boat. Uh, in fact, I may get another one. Um, just so that, I mean, because I really do like this cooler a lot, um, but I'll put that in the back for, you know, drinks and stuff. And that's a cooler that I can take off on and off the boat and take with me if I want to, you know, go out to a cook off or something and uh, bring that. But um, you can use these if you want, or you can silicone that, which is what I'll probably do. I'm going to um, put it on the boat and see exactly um, the direction I want to go with that. But I do think that uh, I'll probably silicone these so that they're all in there and, and nice and tight, but you've got these uh, in case you want to use them. So that, so that is the cooler. Uh, nice, clean. Um, it is ready to roll. Uh, so the last thing I've got to do is take it to my boat, uh, connect this to my switch panel. I do have a live well switch that I installed when I redid my boat. Um, so we're going to connect those, fill it up with water and then test it out. Well, we got the, uh, entire, uh, live well on this, uh, Ingle cooler completely rigged up. I want to show you that. And then we're going to, um, we're going to test it, show you what, uh, that looks like. But, uh, here, let me close 
that lid. The only thing that you see in this entire um, setup is right there. Just that line. I'll come around to the other side. But nice and clean. That's it. We got the pump, one hose, uh, and the uh, aerator, the uh, inlet, and the sprayer. Um, that's it. So I've thrown a little bit of water in there, uh, just enough to cover um, the intake there into the pump. Uh, but I want to show you, you know. So I do have it wired up to my uh, switch panel and uh, we'll turn that on and then I'll show you the, uh, the live well. So there it is. <laughs> Here it is. That pump is, uh, it's an 800, so it's, it moves some water. But, okay. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Now I do want to show you, let me close that. The, uh, the actual sprayer uh, has an air valve. Let's see if we can see that little hole. So when you you can tell when you uh, cover it, um, it still pumps water, but it's not um, pulling air in. And so that little uh, that little hole there pulls the air and aerates the water. And so I'm going to show you what that is like when I cover it. There it is. That's where it's covered. Regular water. You can almost tell. You can almost tell that it, it like it bubbles when the air is going through. But anyway, it sucks air from outside of the live well and aerates the water as it is circulating water, which we all know that's what you need uh, to keep some of these fish alive. You need circulation you need good clean water you need air uh, you need the water to be oxygenated um, and all of those things will help keep your fish alive longer and uh, healthier and better and so that is exactly what we did here i'm pretty happy with it so super clean out of the way you can barely see it i mean you literally have to get up underneath the console even to see the pumps and hoses and it's literally one hose two connectors and a pump so um super clean and uh i figured i'd share that with you uh, i will post a link to all of that uh, i think that entire kit's a hundred dollars minus the cooler obviously cooler is more expensive uh and you can pick whatever cooler you want but you know there, there's some really cheap coolers out there even if you have an old one that that entire system i believe is 99 dollars. so uh not bad to get a live well running all right guys i really appreciate you watching thank you very much um if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button like the video comment below we'll see you next time